process of debuffification, a process of cleansing the state as the senior ranks of the ruling Ba'ath Party, led to certain grievances that fueled the insurgency. Let's go further back, 2001, the fall of Kabul. What happened then? We saw the bond process at which the Taliban were excluded from power. The Taliban were pushed away and told they were completely unwelcome. That also fueled many grievances in Afghanistan. Here we have a rebel movement that has promised vocally, repeatedly, persistently to treat its enemies with respect, even at its point of triumph. Now, we don't know how that will play out, or, of course, whether the NTC will be able to fulfill those promises with good intentions in good faith. Uh, but I think we should consider that from a balanced perspective and see how the movement fits into broader rebel movements in the past. Uh, presumably, there is, I mean, in terms of, of uh, exit strategies, the wrong word, if you like, the way the international community has been involved in this, the NATO air support or air strikes that have been offered this promise to protect the civilian population. There is going to be this huge international push now to make this work. There is, of course, we have to remember NATO has less pressure here, less coercive power or leverage over the rebels than it did in perhaps Afghanistan under Hamid Karzai in 2001, in 2003 over the new provisional authorities that formed in Iraq, because it has no forces on the ground. It has no troops on the ground, therefore it doesn't control where the guns are. It has to push via the TNC. The best it can really do is threaten to withdraw funding, threaten to pull away certain forms of assistance. Um, it has to rely on the good faith of the TNC, their leaders, which is not something I think many in London or Paris are going to be very happy about. Uh, Tim, we've been talking, haven't we, about the, the huge significance of seeing these celebrations, the rebels, and indeed the, the civilian population breaking out into the streets uh, around Green Square, shooting down the, the Gaddafi posters and, and the gunfire that's been seen in Green Square tonight. Um, how does this all play out in terms of the geography of the city? Um, and the, uh, so obviously a lot of focus is going to be shifting now onto Gaddafi's compound to try to work out if he's still there. So how, how does this all play out in terms of the, the, the geography and the, and the, the, the significance of the centre of Tripoli? I think most of the key areas strategically 